Hello, welcome back to Fractos, the uh, audio-visual synth music puzzle game. We are just coming to the hub of the green world to try and finish off the green bit of the map. And what do we have? Big pit of doom. I'm not sure I want to... Ah, that's, there's the controls. I was going to try jumping in, but... Uh, Probably would have been a bad idea. It's very quiet. Alright. I was just wondering, it's so quiet, I was wondering if I'd accidentally muted the game, but no. Okay, so. Let's leave that guy. I have controls. Hang on. How does this work? That's not right. this nonsense. So the first thing I noticed is I had notes as to how these things were supposed to be set up, but uh, based on what I found in each of the previous levels, this one was supposed to be on this segment here, this one on this segment, this one on this segment. What I'm also seeing now is this these two additional controls uh, for numbers two and five that don't seem to be right. So there's a couple of problems here. One is none of the none of these controls let me get the control thing to the segment that was shown in the level I was at. And the second problem is, uh, number two and five, their clue was on a pink pillar with like five segments. Let's, let's shut this off for now. And so there's five, well, well six segments I guess. Six positions, those could be in, and I didn't make a note of those. So I think I'm going to have to backtrack to number two and then number four to get the extra clues there. That still leaves the question of how come I can't get the rotary encoders there to the positions they need to be in. And I don't have an answer to that question just yet. Wait. Uh, this is not good. Can't get back that way. There isn't a lift. How do I get back? Let's jump off. Go for a swim! Well, that's no good either. That's just teleported us back to the controls. Where is... the way out? Not there. Oh, maybe it's out this door. So yeah, I guess I can find out, uh, yeah, here we are. I guess I can find out what those um, sliders should be set to. Back in puzzles two and four. But it doesn't tell me why the rotary knobs are not going to the positions that the clues were indicating. Plus the clues were somewhat cryptic, which is of course always a possibility. Well, here we are at number two anyway. And there was a door up there, which is where its clue was. So let's go up there. Take a look. So yeah, there's our six positions. And right, so that one should be at the top of the six as well. I should write that down. Uh, 
And again, it clearly shows this segment here, but it's... That's impossible, given the, what the controls are doing. I don't know. Maybe it is possible if this is set to the right position. I don't know. I don't know. But let's go look at number four. Let's draw distance. Right, so the clue of number four was out this door, I think. Maybe. Let's see. For some reason, my memory is telling me it wasn't out any door in particular, that it was sitting out in the open. Yeah, it's not through there. So let's cross to the other side. Oh, there it is. So what should the position of that be set to? So once again, there's like six pink things that pink didn't look important. Right, second from the top. And again, the rotary position does not appear to be a one that is possible. I don't understand that. The only other thought that crossed my mind is, you know, you know, we see patterns like that for a sequencer. Um, and does that mean I need to play that pattern? But none of the patterns that I had available looked at all like that. So I think that's either that's relevant to like some end game puzzle, or it's just decorative. Both could be true, but doesn't seem to me to be related to the puzzle for the green world. And certainly we didn't need to use any puzzle, any uh, patterns like that for the pink world, so we shouldn't need them for the green world either. Back to the hub. Yeah, the green hub, not the central hub. Green hub, there we are. Right now, what's the easiest way to get there? Surely there's a lift. Is it this lift? I thought this took me to. Oh, um, no, it's the one down here. Down here. Which was a dead end before. Wait, and it's still a dead end. That's not good. Um, But this lift took me up there. Well, I guess I can jump off from there and walk. Yeah. I guess that's what I'll do. Yeah, that should be fine. I could have jumped off there and walked, okay. Lots of places to jump off and walk from. Whee! Plonk. Right, hopefully I have all the clues. Now, I thought I missed something, a clue at uh, the green level one, but as we got to the controls here, there was no indication of the green one. There was only a two, three, and four in rotary encoders and a two and four in sliders. So, let us set this up. I can't adjust anything while the patterns aren't playing. So I don't know what the patterns need to be. I'm just going to do one, two, three, four. So that should be there.
doing the right thing. Okay, so all that is left on the three worlds is the blue hub, which I've puzzled my, you know, scratched my head over before for a while and I couldn't figure out. Now, uh, blue has five worlds, uh, sorry, five levels in it, and the hub. I'm going to go to the hub first to see what those controls look like, and then see if I need to revisit any of the others for more clues. Oh. Fast travel. Well, slow fast travel. Oops, the game has crashed. So the game crashed and we're trying to make our way to the blue hub to try and finish off the blue world. And it's a long way, and the fast travel isn't as fast as one might hope, so we just get to look at the scenery. Here we are. these four sequences of patterns playing and there I can't remember there being any other controls but maybe I'm misremembering so let's head up here to where the controls are so unfortunately a long walk and see what we might be missing right okay so we have once again, four rotary uh, goes here for levels two, three, four, and five. And I have no idea what they need to be set to. So let's fast travel and find out. Let's just do them in order. Where's two hiding? No, oh, it's not far away at all. That's nice. Oh, right, now I did notice these things before and had no clue what they are, but this is our, this is the information we need. So, number two needs to be set to the top. Okay. Once again, there's the ambiguity of that showing a middle section out of five possible positions, but what we actually have is a rotary knob that goes from zero to 100% and not actually, doesn't actually have separate positions. But I guess I'm going to set that to 50%, set this one to like, you know, four fifths um, and just see how that works out. All right, to number four. At least these are quick and easy to find so far. It's not wasting much time. Oops, I should look where I'm going. Alright, where is the clue box? Clue pillar on this one. Here's a fast travel. Let's see the pillar. Is it uh, around here, perhaps? There it is. Get a bit closer. Uh, and following, but that's alright. So that is down at the number one position. Alright, can I get back out? Now it's back to the fast travel. And to blue five. Oh, 
goes this way. And where's its blue pillar? Probably over there. Don't see it over here, do I? What's up here? Nothing. Just wondered if it might be over the edge there, yeah, but apparently not. Let's have a look. I don't think it's inside. But I could be wrong. Well, maybe it is. I can't see it outside. I can't see it out here. This isn't it, is it? No. That's not it. Well, let's go inside and take a look. Maybe I'm misremembering. It's very possible. Do I see a clue pillar? I don't. Where is it hiding? That's taunting me. That's not around here, is it? No, because we were just here. Well, it's not the end of the world. We've got three out of the four already, and so I can always brute force, but. I would prefer to have, you know, a reasonable idea of what it's all about. No, it's just, that's just the cave that comes here. Am I being stupid and oblivious again? It happens. There's nothing down there, is there? No. And it's not that pillar, I looked at that pillar. Bother. Is it around here? Can I get around here without getting stuck? Kinda. No, because I was just looking out here. What about down? here on the inside but not in the middle. What about in here? No, but I might be stuck now. No, I can get out, okay. Oh. Well, alright. I think I'm just gonna head back to the hub and try and brute force the last position there. I cannot see. I cannot see how I'm supposed to get back to the hub, and uh, maybe I have. I go around here. That's right. In any case, I'm missing, not able to see the clue that I need for whatever reason. So, I guess I just carry on with that, unless it's something like this. No, it's nothing there. And it's not this way. Right? Just a quick look. No. Oh well, that's uh, a little annoying. I don't know where it's hiding, but... Um, presumably I don't really need it. Brute force should do as well. So let's back. go back to the hub. I've got three out of the four. Let's hope I can figure it out without actually seeing the fourth one. Once again, walk all the way around. 
quite frustrating that there isn't a quicker pass. Especially once you've unlocked all all four worlds. So the different, the different pathways here were unlocking one by one as I did each of the individual worlds, but having done all four, it really should just give you a shortcut straight to the end rather than make you do all this. But it only takes, you know, 20, 30 seconds. It's not the end of the world. Right, so number two was roughly there. Number three was there-ish. That was down here. Alright, yeah, these are all marked out in, in in this section. So let's try that one at the same spot. That's not doing anything. Try the next one. Look at this. Okay, that's it. Now we just wait. Noticing, I never really paid attention to it before. I don't even know who's there. We've got these three arches, each going down to a little ring, and another place, very much like the hub world, there in the middle. And underneath that, a triangle with green, blue, and pink points. So there's clearly another entire thing to unlock in terms of this arch. Try something here briefly. So, you know how earlier when I was noting down the uh, patterns for, I think it was the green world. Yeah. Noting down the patterns? No. Yeah, green world. The ones, oh, which, whichever one had the X, Y patterns. There was a. Uh, sequence pattern in the background that I actually wrote down at the same time. It wasn't really, it didn't seem relevant, but I noted it down. And what I'm just thinking now is, is that perhaps relating to this? Because one of them, it kind of looks like that. Or... I was just wondering if those patterns in the world are actually meant to make these sequences. And I need to arrange this these eight in the right order. It's possible. It's very possible indeed. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly um, take a screenshot here of what these patterns are. And if I see any more in the world. I'll screenshot those as well, and I'll try and find the patterns at the other hubs as well. This, this is just a hypothesis right now. Uh, so let's go back to the fast travel and go back to the central hub. But if it turns out the patterns in the world, which were kind of on... They make, the reason I'm thinking this, they are kind of on bits of broken arch, right? Kind of like these arches, but all broken, all shattered. So... If the patterns in the world were also um, are actually important, which why would they be there if they're not important? Then maybe we need to get these sequences playing the right patterns in order to unlock that last central section. Whoa! This is all glowy now. I mean, maybe we don't. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. But you can see bits like that there. But this seems to be pretty... pretty active, and it's already taking up... taking us up somewhere high. I guess 
we wait and see where we where we end up. Swimming all the way up to the top there. Right, so all these pieces that were sitting around in the sky actually seem to be coming up and forming a, a passage here anyway. So maybe my theory there about needing to use these patterns is irrelevant because they're putting themselves here. That's in fact the one I had written down. Um, so we have one final puzzle, I guess. Or something. So we have three glowy archways leading to another lift. All right, a whole new puzzly world. Something entirely different. Can I walk on that? I don't think so. But if I can't walk on that, where can I walk? Do I have controls? Well, right, we look, looks like we've got uh, kind of secrets of patterns in these bridges. Hmm. Oh, I can walk on that. All right, I will. Didn't look very solid, but it apparently is. Um, that's the one I need. So we have a pa interesting pattern here. Oh, I can't walk on that. All right. Okay, a new theory is that this is the sequence of pattern we need on the green on the pink hub world in order to make this bridge solid. Maybe I oh, know. I guess not, we just have... We have controls right here. Although they're weird controls, so I'm not really sure what they correspond to. Alright, they just light up and make a bridge for us. Alright, this is less... Oh, I see the problem. To make a bridge for us, there's only one in each row. So how does that work? Okay, we can go diagonally as long as there's a clear spot for a diagonal. Less problematic than I think, and less less complicated than I was thinking as well. Less complicated solutions, I guess, are always good. Make a nice little tune there. Is that a pathway? No, it's just a decoration, I think. What have we got here? I don't know, what did that do? Oh, what? What the hell? What is the thing that was moving? Right, okay, so we can rotate two different controls here. To rotate bits of the world. So, does that go... Well, well, kind of hard to see. I don't know where we're trying to connect, but I think they're trying to connect to the blue bridge over there. And what about this one? I don't know.
Uh, let's let's do that and let's go back and have a look. I don't know if we can control it from anywhere else as well. We might we might be just be able to control it from here. Yeah, we can control it from anywhere. Good. Alright, so first things first, we need to get on that out, out of piece so that we can then move it. Assuming we can... Can we move it while we're on it? Well, no, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Oh, apparently it is that easy. For now, we can get... Oops. Let's make sure to do the right thing here. What's this on top of our heads? Get out of the way. Faster. Thank you. More controls. It says unlocked. What? The middle. Right now we have more controls there. Actually, hopefully let's get to that bridge, but what is across this way? I see we've got a long way up to go. there, can I? What am I missing? Nope. What am I missing? Why does that not work? Why does that not connect? Hmm. Alright. Let's go... Let's just bring... Bring that back here, and let's jump down to there. Now we have control over five concentric rings, I think. We do have another bridge that we haven't reached yet. We've got the green bridge to get to. The green bridge should be reachable from on this ring that I'm on, I think. If we go all the way around. Underneath the blue bridge. No, I just got under it. Let's try that. Okay, green, green bridge. Get out of my way. Where to now? Another... Small controls for what? Like, we're unlocking all sorts of control systems, but uh... Oh dear, what's this? Oh, I see it's got, a, it's got another bridge on it. Okay, that's opened up another bridge up there. This is getting really confusing. I'm, I don't know where I'm going anymore. You come there, and I'm gonna just jump onto you. All right, now let's go. Sure, let's go around here. 
and get onto that one. Um, so it's the blue, up the blue bridge before was where I couldn't get to, right? Yeah, so let's, let's move around a little so we can get onto the blue bridge again. see from up here what's changed. So there's that thing. So we couldn't get across here. Does that now give us a way across here? It does indeed. Okay, so we get to whatever this is. Whatever this is. Well, that looks like the arches that we hadn't unlocked in the fast travel section. Alright, that gives us a new path here and... In theory, we can control these as well, right? Yeah, so I can connect that up to here for whatever reason. I don't know why I need to yet, but I know that I can. Good. What do we got here? That's not good. Let's go there. Okay, unlock something else. So let's just control this. Oh, oh my god, this... Okay, so we can raise and lower whole sections now. This is going to be so confusing. What have we got here? Alright, that's the triangles. That's saying blue and green are lit up already, which is odd. I don't know what that means. Can I get there? Not just yet. And what's up here? Alright, something that needs to move. Uh, what needs to move now? Can we raise that? Okay, that moves the yellow section. Better or worse. Take it back down. And um, we can also move the green section over there. And we can rotate these things. No, I haven't rotated that one yet, I rotated the other one. Alright, that gives us another passage. And there's a new one to rotate as well. Okay. There's another platform there. This is all dreadfully confusing. Let's go up higher, see what we can see. Well, there's a new platform here and a new bridge we can unlock, so let's do that, for starters. Oh, you're in the way. Uh, that's in the way, let's get that out of, let's get that out of the way. Does that help me? I don't know. What's this in my way? Uh, can I control this thing? No, I can't. So I can't proceed this direction, okay? Yet. What's over there? It's all very confusing geometrically. Okay, is that unlocked? I'm not sure. I don't know how to tell. How did I get here? Alright, uh, that was not up there, so maybe I was stepping on that. Let's not crush ourselves. 
Yeah, okay, I was standing on that. Um, okay, when they're unlocked, they light up in an actual color, not white. So that's not unlocked. Well, why don't I just jump down onto it? I don't know if there's a better way to unlock it, but... That at least will unlock it. Alright, that lets me control the big pink bit that I couldn't control before. I don't know whether that passageway would have been useful to me or not, but let's go across the bridge. Move this back up out of the way. Dear, dear, walking around, trying to walk around a complicated three-dimensional room while moving the walls of the room around is uh, definitely asking for confusion. Oh, what? What the hell? All right, uh, that's a big X Y control line. Um, okay, that'll do. Why the controls gonna overlap and confuse me even more? Seems okay. I'm hoping all I've got to do is get to the top. I don't know. There might be more than that. Right, what are we missing? I'm missing something. That doesn't come up any further. So yellow is at the top, okay. Green is also at the top. Let's bring it down a bit. Because then that gives me a passageway... pathway around there, does it? No, not really. Um... Let's, let's just move them down. Ah, there's another control spot over there I haven't actually been to. And it looks like yellow is going to help me get there. Yeah, let's go up a little more. It's even weirder when you're dragging the thing you're actually standing on. That's bizarre. Okay. What does this control? Purple. Well, both of those, I guess. Alright, let's go. Let's jump down. Let's go over there. And let's just put that back for now. Because it's confusing me. Right, so now I can control where this passage comes. And here we are. Now what? What's another thing activated? And that was the little triangle symbol. What I'm seeing, I don't know, is that the correct pattern of colours there? There's still four white ones. But there's two of each of the colours. I don't know. Alright, so I can get back out this way as well. So, uh, I am lost in a strange three-dimensional maze looking for... Oh, I see a fast travel spot. How do I get there? Let's start by going up. Up as far as we can go. May not help, but let's try it. No, it doesn't seem to help. What's around here? Oh, we can get off at least. Maybe. Maybe? Okay. Let's go back up. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, where am I? I don't know, where, what am I doing? Where am I going? Oh, right, we need to go... Oh, there's a second level there. Okay. 
can see it now. Let's go there. This is unlocked. Yes, this is unlocked. Right, now we can control these walls, which I couldn't last time I was here anyway, so... I can... Yeah, so we can get across here now. I could make this a straight apart, but I'm, you know, having fun making it sound good. Let's back up so I can control the wall. There. See? Make a nice sounding path. I'm having fun with those path puzzles, because they're, uh... There's so many possible solutions, and I can just make ones that sound good. Right, so this is the archway, so that's the final section that I guess we're about to approach, maybe? Or that we still need to do something with, I don't know. Because that is not unlocked, although this controls here, just stand on this. Oh, there's more platforms in the middle, okay. Oh, this is really confusing. Look at all the control, different controls everywhere. <laughs> um. Oh, that's only lit up. Two thirds lit up. So what's missing? We've got one arch there. We have... There was a second arch that I unlocked somewhere. I don't... Quite sure where. Over there, right? Is there a third one that I have not unlocked yet? Let's go up and have a look. Uh, you need to come down for me to go over here. So that's definitely indicating that is not fully unlocked. The blue, green, and pink triangles have lit up, which indicates that individual control pads for those are okay, but then these little archways, I've done two out of three, and the circle around it is only filled up two out of three, and the channels of white up alongside the color channels, only two out of three of those have lit up as well, or four out of six, I guess. So there's still definitely a piece of the puzzle that's being missed here. So I'm just kind of trying to scout around. Is that one active? What does an active one look like? Yeah, the arch is visible and glowing and the pads beneath it are glowing in a colour. Yeah, green and blue are done and pink is not, so there must be a pink... There must be an arch like that for pink. I'm gonna go across the other side. See if I can see where it is. Doorway, please. Oh, have I been across here? This doesn't look like I've been across here. Okay, I'll get through there, alright. Back up. Um, doorway here. through there, right? Now I'm getting stuck here. I come here, on there, and there, alright. Let's rewrite the pattern as I'm standing on it. That is no problem, as long as I just don't rewrite the same row that I'm on, that should be okay. Yeah. Here we are. Wait, we're somewhere new. What's this in front of me? Can I move that? I guess it needs to be up there. 
Oh, under that or something. How do I... Does that let me do anything? What is now? That just moves out of the way. Those of these seem to have one position, I think. Like, putting that there is not going to do anything, is it? No. What else can I move? What am I missing? It's on the bridge there, but how do I get to it? Alright, let's walk back across here, see if I missed something on this side. Or at least I can actually see where the bridge goes. And... Whoops. Rewrite this pattern. Reposition the door. Alright, so that's the bridge up there. It goes across to there. Just trying to trace where it goes and what I might be missing just now. Um, wait, can I get up there? If I move that, I might actually be able to get up to that side of it. Bring that down and then stand on this and bring it back up. Up as far as we can go, does that let me get up there? Well, mm, not really. I don't think I'd make that jump. No, I wouldn't make that jump. If I could stand on that piece of that arm of this thing, then yeah, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Right, because that's always above us. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's yellow. Maybe we can... Be like green and yellow, and I get onto the yellow one. I can definitely get onto the yellow one. I can move yellow down there. Alright, let's get onto yellow. And then. Stand out of the way of that. So I don't push myself into it. Let's bring yellow all the way up. And green all the way down. Oh, that's yellow, not green. One thing at a time. Alright, that doesn't get us onto this, but does it get us onto. Above green. Hmm. No, it doesn't. Green doesn't go low enough to get onto the blue passageway there. And yellow doesn't get any higher. Dear, dear. And these things, these things seem mostly pointless. Like, I haven't really made use of those at all, but maybe they were supposed to be useful earlier. So what seems to be the case is I just don't quite seem to be able to get high enough. I can't get onto the green arm from here. And it seems to be the only thing that gets above the level, this level of the platform. We have a pink bridge there that takes us up here. Alright, let's... where's the pink bridge? That's just where we were, right? We were just on the pink bridge. Yeah. Yeah, because when we reach the green bridge, we want to be on. All right. Let's... Wait. Oh, this does take us to the green bridge. Okay. Um. Right. Well, let's let's go across the green bridge. Oh, this one lets me do multiple track, multiple uh, segments per track. That's unexpected. Make another hole. Make another hole. Uh, so definitely fract OSC for well, fract also however supposed to say it for anything else it's doing is clearly winning in terms of unexpectedly novel user interface 
Like all this 3D min 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 uh, manipulation of rotating things and sliding things up and down and punching holes in walls is nice. Nice interpretation of uh, the people controls on synthesizers. Great. Well, that definitely sounded important. So this this bridge here is the way back. And not the way to get there in the first place. Which once again, we rewrite it. Punch a hole. Alright, and we are back where we're trying to get back to there. Okay, everything looks folded up over there. Oh, this is just where the green bridge was, okay. I don't know how I got here, I don't know how I get back, but I don't need to. I need to get to there, which I think I can just run off the edge. Yep. Okay, so we can get back to the core of this thing, which is now completely lit up and active. So everything is bright and shiny there. So the question is, do we go across here, near the fast travel? that opened up a way for us to get to move on or indeed has it opened up well that's not lit up yet so there's got to be another fast travel section somewhere but yes this is open to us now we have three channels there all right so this this is the same spot right and we have some big controls here for Whoa. Whoa, what the hell. Alright, so the first thing I'm seeing is we have the same set of controls here as we had for the pink, blue, and green worlds, which I have mostly noted down, but not quite all. Because I did guess at a couple of them. Um, what, am I, what am I missing? Oh, I think I think there's something missing this one, and I do remember what that was set to. And we have some more uh, sequence patterns here. Oh, these are different. Are we supposed to do anything important with these, or just make it sound interesting? lots of options. Right, where were these set to before? That was the center. Uh, number two was up here. Number three was down here. And number four was there. All right, we've got some power happening. Right, let's get a second track. Maybe we just pick these patterns based on what we want it to sound like, I don't know. Blue number two should be there. Blue number three should be up here. Blue number four is right. Blue number five was in this section. Alright, it's growing again. Time for green. Down here. Number four is there. 
and that slide was there, and that was been there. Oh wow, wait, we're rotating the whole world here with all these layers. We're missing something that's not quite right. Oh no, here it goes. Is the game complete? As far as the puzzle e bit goes. I can walk around the credits. Oh, we're back at the start. We have a credits room now. And what's here? Ah, oh, this is the advanced controls. This is all the stuff that's been unlocked now. What is this? Controls now that we've unlocked. And oh, oh dear. So we have Oh dear, this is insanely complicated. Alright, let's load a demo song. Crack demo song advanced. Wait, I thought I'd unlock the advanced. Oh, right, I haven't. Oh, I'm missing one. I have not unlocked everything. Oh no, maybe I have. Alright, I think that's everything I can Let's try that again. That doesn't sound like a song. Okay, that was Fracked Us, the uh, synthesizer puzzle game thing. I guess now that we've unlocked everything, I could go and uh, muck about with the sync controls and make some horrific sounds, but I'm not going to subject you to that. So, thanks very much for watching, and I will be back later with a brand new game. I'll see you next time.